Hello? Hello, this is Sarah from Discover. I am calling in regards to rate expiration. We've been trying to reach you as your eligibility for rate reduction is about to expire. Press 1 for more information, or hang up this call. Fight Services, how are you doing today? I'm doing just fine, how are you? I'm also fine, thank you. I believe you are responding for lower interest rate on your credit card, is that right? Uh, yes. And it shows from past six to eight months that you are making your payments on time, never been late, and most of the time you try to pay more than the minimum, right? <laughs> yeah, most of the time. So just because of your good payment history and your good credibility, today you are eligible to get a lower interest rate on your credit card, okay? Okay. So first for the qualification purpose, how much do you think you owe on your credit card? Any rough idea? Uh, probably about eight or ten thousand maybe on the Discover. Okay, so what we are going to do for you, we are going to drop the interest rate down to less than three percent, close to zero percent for your balances and your future purchases. And your job is just to be punctual with the payments just the way you are doing in the past and you will be good to go, okay? Okay. So, do you have your card with you right now? Um, yes, I can get it. Uh, I'm driving, but I so, think I can get it. Okay. I'm holding a line for you, thank you. Okay, just a second. Coming up to a stop here. Alright. Got the card ready. Alright, and all right, and it shows from past six to eight months that you're making your payments. So, I want to grab the card and verify me the expression date, the month and year. Thank you. Uh, it's three of, let me see, 23? You said it's 323? Yes, that's correct. All right, and as a next step, I'm going to pull up the statements for your card. I will update you with the balance you owe, the last payment you made, the due payment required on you, and the exact interest rate that you are getting charged. And accordingly, I will update you with the results, okay? Okay, sounds good. Uh, and I do believe... And I do believe that you are holding the same Discover card starting with the number 6011. Yes, 6011, that's it. Yes, verify me the numbers after 6011 so I can generate your billing statements. Thank you. Uh, you want the last four? That's 4422. Two. No, sir, I want the complete number after 6011 so I can generate your billing statements. Thank you. Uh, well, my son says never give out the, the complete number. Can we just do the last four? Okay, no problem. What are the last four? 4422, two, like I said. Okay, and to maintain the security, what are the last four of your social? Just the last four? I can't give you that. I'm not, he said Sorry, it is just to maintain. Either. Sorry, it is just to maintain the security. Just the last four. That's why I'm asking the last four. That I will prove myself that you're talking to a legit company, and it is to make sure that you are the only authorized signer of your credit card. Okay, to maintain the security for your own credit card, verify me the last four of your card. Just the last four. The last four of my card, it's 4422. The last four of your social, sir. The last four of your social. Just the last four. Thank you. Oh, well, what if we what if we do my address? I don't feel bad about giving sir, out my it address. Sir, is it is just to maintain the security. You are the only authorized signer of your credit card. It is just to maintain the security of your credit card. Verify me the last four I digits of your social. I thought you said that you had my last five payments there. I thought, 
You, yes, sir. I will update you with the balance. Yes, I will update you with the balance you owe. The last payment you made, the due payment required on you, and the exact interest rate that you are getting charged. And accordingly, I will update you with the results that how much lower your interest rate going to be. So you have to verify me some basic information over this recorded line, and you are not, and you will be make sure. Sales or telemarketing call. Once I will prove myself that you are talking to a right company, you will be saying by your own that you are talk that you have done a very right thing by yourself. Okay. Well, um, you kind of cut out there, but yes. Uh, I think yes. I the last four. Yes. Verify me the last four digits of your social. Just the last four. Of my social security number. Yes, just the last four, sir. Man, I don't, I'm just, I've heard so much about not giving that out. I guess the last four wouldn't hurt. Um, because that way you wouldn't have my whole number. Uh, let's see. I, I don't know, ma'am. I, that's just, uh, you can't, what if I give you my address? Will that work? No, sir. No, well, sir. We already have all number. the things. I'll give you the last four of my sir. phone number. No, sir. I already have all the things. But to maintain the security of your card yourself, verify me the last four of your social, just the last four. I'm not asking for your full social security number. But, I, I mean, there's a lot of things that the last four are used for. Um, private things. No, no, yes, sir. I understand your concern that you are trying to protect yourself from your card, uh, from your social. But right now, you are not talking to any third-party company or any sales or telemarketing call. And one thing you re you need to realize that any scammer or any third-party company doesn't have your billing statement and your personal information. Once I will prove myself, you will say by your own self that you have a make a right decision. So verify me the last four of your social, just the last four. I'm just kind of confused because you said you had my last four payments there and I wish we were some other no, way sir. you know when I'm on the computer I can always uh, sir. make it you know there's different ways to identify myself wish it was sir it's easier. not in front of me right now I have to pull out the statements for your cards okay um, and who are you with again where for me the last four pardon who are you with again? What company? Right now you are speaking with Consumer Credit Service. And we are card service for Discover. So we're fine in the last four of the social so I can generate your billing statements. Thank you, sir. Hang on. The, the phone kind of cut down. Let me write that down. Is some kind of Democratic card service? Pardon? Are you, it sounded like you said the Democratic card service? No, I said consumer credit. Consumer credit service. Oh, consumer. Okay. I yes. Gotcha. Verify me the last four. Sorry, verify me the last four of your social. Only the last four. I don't think I can do that. If we could do address or or something like that, zip code. I could give you my zip code seven eight seven one two. Okay. Okay. Verify me the fast mailing zip code where to receive the bill set. What is it? All right, it's one, two, four, west, southwest, sector five. Sir, I'm asking for your zip code. What is the zip code where we receive the bills at five mailing zip codes? Oh, seven, six, seven, one, two. Okay, hold on. Hello? Hello? Yes sir, hold on for a second. Well, I'm almost to my destination. Uh, hold 
done, sir. I'm connecting your call to our account manager. He will guide you further, okay? Okay. Is he in the Genesis building? Yes. All righty. Hello? Hello? Hi, my name is Jay, and I'm the senior accounts manager with the card services. How are you today? Oh, good, Jay. How are you doing? Are you, what, what's the company you're with? We are with the card services for the Discover, the company who generate your monthly billing statement, sir. As a next step, I'm going to pull up your statement. I'm going to let you know the exact balance that you owe as of today. Last payment you made, the due payment and the current interest rate. So, just want to make sure the card is under your name, right? Yes. Just to make sure the card is not a stolen or a picked up credit card for your own security, what are the last four of your social? I told the other young lady I cannot give that information out. Why don't we do uh, address or zip code? Sir, I am not asking you to give me any of your personal confidential information which can put you in trouble such as your well, pin code, time your and time again, my son has told me not to give out social security number, and sure, I would first love of all to get my my uh, fees reduced if we absolutely, could do sir. Way, but I can't give you personal information. First of all, I understand your concern the way you are coming from. You are just trying to protect yourself, right? Yes, just like Pierogi. And I highly. And I highly appreciate that, sir, but the reason you received this call, this call is only for the consumers pay their bills on time, having a good credit score, good credibility, never falling for any bankruptcies for last five years, or mostly if they are a senior citizen yes, on a yes, limited the income, young lady went social all security. Of this before, yes. Exactly, sir. Exactly, sir. And today your profile was approved by the three major credit reporting bureau in the United States, which is oh, Experian which ones are those? Union. That Experian is the one who maintains your payment history and gives you the credit score. That's the reason today on the basis of your good payment history and your good credit score, you are eligible to get yourself lifetime lower rates, all right? You said Transperian? Say, yeah, just have a Transperian? Experience, sir. Oh, okay. I thought there was a trans in there. Trans union. Union. Gotcha. The yes. Gotcha. So all I can say here, just have a little bit faith, little bit trust. Once I'm gonna pull up your statement, you can feel more assured and more confident that yes, you are talking to the right and the legit company over the phone, sir. I got gotcha. you. The legit, the, legit, the the what kind of company? Legit. La, la, la. Sorry? Is some kind of legitimate leg 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 company? Sir, do you want the lower rates? Yes, I would love it. They're really high. Like, I, like I want you to... 20%. I, it's just killing me. I want... I'm I want you to verify about. me the last four... I want you to verify me the last four of your social, sir. I just... I'm sorry. Well, I, I'm just... My... My son and my daughter both have drilled it into my head to not give out my social security how, number. How much you owe on this card? Eight to ten thousand dollars. I told the young lady that. Just hold on. Just key. hold on. Let Don't yell at me. Just hold, sir. Just hold on. Do Let me check. Let me pull up your statement. The statement for this card, the balance is ten thousand nine hundred and twenty-four dollar with thirty-six cents, right? Uh, that sounds about right. I didn't know it was quite that much, but sure. 
and the last payment you made in the amount of $200 received on May the 5th, correct? Yes. And the interest rate of this card is more than 14%, correct? Oh, oh yeah. Uh -huh. And and what are the last four of your card numbers, sir, you said? 4422 for the third time. Zip, and your zip code is? 78712. 76 seven or 78? Seven 76. Seven 712. Seven you said 78? Seven yes, and I live in sector 5. I want you to verify me the last four of your social, sir. You're not going to trick me. I'm not going to trick you, sir. I'm trying to help you to get you the lower rates on your credit card. Well, then we got we got some work to do because I, I'm not going to give you my social security number. Have a good day, sir. All right.